Just arrived at the lake. Gonna get this boat in the water. Try to get on an early top water bite and see how this goes. See you guys in a bit. Quick update. Top water bite is over. Cody got a good 2.3 yeah. on a buzz bait. I missed three fish. <laughs> two on a whopper plopper. One I jerked out of his mouth. Two he missed it. And I missed a fish on a popper during the boat flip. Plenty of fishing left though. Hopefully get you guys some good content. Another update, we lost juice on the big motor, no power. Just roughing it with the trolling motor now. Uh, Cody caught another three, two and a half pound smallmouth. Flipped docks for a bit, no luck. Now we're just trolling away back to the dock, fishing, trolling. Hopefully trying to find some fish. New update. After sitting for an hour and a half to two hours with no juice to the engine, randomly it turns on. So maybe we'll get on some fish now. Okay, I'm gonna leave it rolling a lot more now. Finally got my first fish of the day. Man, it's a giant. He thought he had himself a big meal. All right, I'm gonna let him go, get back to fishing. Okay, now how am I going to get this guy off without getting a treble in my hand? Easy, easy buddy. Come here, I'll, let you, I'll set you free. There you go buddy. God, that was, that's what I came here for, right there. There's one. Better than my last one, but no giant. Oh, there you go. Second time
Cody hooks up with a little guy. Wait, wait, wait. That caught a little walleye. Caught a walleye. No wonder it didn't fight. Well, better than no fish. Changed up my tactic. Let's see if I can get something else. That is a freaking giant, dude. I got it. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a freaking tank. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Do a little lineup. Oh. Switch to the Lucky Craft. That's a four. Woo! On camera too. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Great job, man. Woo! Job. Hank. All right, where's that at? I don't want it in my hand. Woo! Yeah, buddy. That's a stud. It's pushing four pounds. Come on. Get out of your freaking lip, buddy. Okay. What happened? What are you going on? You need the pliers. Got it? Here. Got it. That's all right, it's on his gill plate. There you go. That's a good fish. Chunk. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh! Chunk down. Mm. Water's not clear enough for a release, so. No. It's all good. I gotta get a picture of that. That's my PB for sure. I don't know, we'll see. What's it right now? Uh, 312. Three nine. Oh, no PB. It's this long. There's no gut. Pre-spawn, this would be a four plus all day. That's still a good fish, though, dude. Biggest one of the day. Definitely got a good picture of that girl. Long on. Oh, where do you want it at? All right, there you go, right there. There you go, dude. Healthy fish. Let her go. Stud. I was just about to say, maybe we should go. There's no fish, and then you catch that. Woo! There you go. Good job. That makes my day better. This last fish I just caught broke my reel. I don't know if you can see, but when I reel, this doesn't move. No, I, I know what it is. She won't start. Come on. Turn over, girl. Keep you guys posted. We're gonna have to end it on this note. Almost got to turn over. And then poof, nothing. Now I won't even get any power. Seen smoke, so we're gonna end it on that. Get towed back to the ramp, and go home. <laughs> well, this is us getting towed back. Not good.
run this clip until the thing dies. It's about to die anyway, so. All right, so I thought I would fill you guys in on the day because I'm still getting used to filming on a boat. So we got out there, um, probably on the water by like five, I'd say. And we were throwing, we were trying to get the top water bite and it was kind of working for a minute. Like Cody got a 2.3, two and a quarter on a buzz bait and I've, been trying to catch a fish on a whopper plopper for quite some time so I was just throwing that the whole time I actually got a blow up he had it for a second but I set the hook like it was a jig and obviously you can't do that with treble hooks especially giant ones with braid and a heavy action rod so he jumped and spit that at me so that was my first miss and then about half an hour later, I had a pretty big fish, probably a giant, jump at it and just completely miss both smallmouth. And then we only fished top water for like an hour. We didn't get much time on it. And we went over to a different spot and I was throwing a popper in the shade and I had a blow up a little smallmouth and just didn't get a really good hook set. Went to boat flip them in and poof, popped off. And then it was pretty tough after that. We were trying everything, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, swim jigs, jigs, Texas rigs. Just trying to find fish, it's kind of hard. As you seen, we went and flipped docks a little bit, which I really need to get better at, because that sucked. Nothing, we didn't find nothing, no. He said he got a few bites on a Senko, but nothing came out of that. And then we went to a different spot along the highway, and he got one, I don't know, it was on a chatterbait or a spinnerbait, I don't know. It's probably like a two and a half, smally. And of course I wasn't filming during a lot of this stuff because I was either re-rigging or I guess I was just too excited to set up the camera and roll, but I really need to work on that. I'm gonna start filming the entire time, even if the battery dies or I fill up the SD card, just so that I can get better content out. But um, let's see. Yeah, I was re-rigging like five rod, all five of my rods while he got that fish, so I wasn't filming. And then we ran into our first issue, the boat wouldn't start. So we were thinking it was batteries, so we changed out batteries, still nothing. We saw the trolling motor, but no big motor, so we're pretty much stuck in that cove, fishing um, grass and along the edge of rock beds and uh, toolies and such. Didn't really get anything. I got a bite because I've been anxious to try the um, Zoom Magnum Monster 12 inch worm. I did get a bite on that, but I didn't even let the fish eat it. Ever. I didn't realize. I knew, but I just didn't give him time to actually engulf a 12 inch worm. Jerked it right out of his mouth. Got no, no more bites from that lure after that. And then um, we. As you've seen in some of the time lapses, fished and fished and fished, a bunch of rock, scattered rocks and rock beds, piles, and um, nothing. I guess Cody broke off on a couple of fish on the hook sets because he had embrasions in his line. I don't know, but um, that sucked. We were sitting there, I was about done. I was putting on some sunscreen, I was over it, eating some lunch, and I was thinking to myself, maybe we should just try it. So he did, he tried the big motor, boom, starts right up. Like, what the heck? Um, so we sat there for a bit waiting for his buddy that was going to come tow us out. We talked a bit and then we continued to fish. We were stupid. We should have just left at that point. But instead we go up river, um, under the freeway, up lake, I should say, not river. And we fished some more rock piles and scattered rocks. That's where we got most of those fish catches you've seen. His walleye, my dinker, my 
pretty big fish and the miss of the fish on the boat flip. Um, that's where we're throwing crankbaits and square bills, diving cranks, um, and he was Texas rigging, I believe. I can't remember. But, I mean, you guys got to see all that. So now, from now on, I'm just going to start rolling the whole time. Anyways, we go to go further up river, boom, won't start again. We try and try and try and try, so I finish eating my lunch. And he keeps trying and almost turns over, and then boom, dead. No power whatsoever to the big engine. It won't even turn. Um, so we're like, uh-oh. But he just keeps trying, right? And we see smoke. We see a bunch of smoke just kept coming out, and we're like, oh, no. We're going to catch him fire and sink. But luckily, obviously, we didn't. Um, we ended up calling his buddy again. He towed us out of there. We got to the launch, and we had to manually trim the motor up. So he loosened the screw, and I lifted the outboard engine up high enough where we could get it onto the trailer and out of the water to tow it home. Long story short, it's one of two things. It's either the starter or the solenoid. So we get back to the owner of the boat's house. We're messing with it and the starter would barely turn again and we start seeing smoke coming out of the starter. So my guess, the boat needs a new starter, which it could be way worse, right? It could have been a worse trip. It could be you need a whole new lower unit, yada yada, but I think it's just the starter. But um, on that note, I've definitely rambled enough. This video is pushing 15 minutes plus, so that's probably good. Um, hopefully you guys watch the whole thing. If you make it to this part, I want to thank you. You are truly good subscribers, good fans, good friends, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to keep the content coming. I'm going to have a few unboxing vids coming and work schedule is getting messed up, so I'm probably not going to be fishing as much, but I'm going to try to go after work and I'll just be fishing from shore at either one of two places and I'll try to take my camera with me and make little mini short vids, bank fishing vids, MTB slams, stuff like that. But um, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.